Good evening. You may be able to hear my fan. I hope it is not too loud. So for today's astrology insight, I just want to talk a little bit, little bit about the energy of Chiron, Capricorn, and overall collective energy and give you a really random visual to sink your teeth into, which sounds weird now that I'm about to give the analogy, but we're just going to dive right in. What I want you to think about is steak. I know a lot of you are probably vegan, paleo, vegetarian, but you'll understand, you will understand this. So think of all of us as a piece of steak. <laughs> okay. We all have gone on the, why? We have all gone on the grill at a different point of our life. Some of us are still raw. Some are rare, some medium rare, some are well done. Some of us are really tough and tense. Okay. Your time in that pressure cooker or grill is going to dictate what so we have all come on to earth to learn a certain purpose, to live a certain timeline, to enhance our purpose, however that is, with, through the people we meet, through the experiences we have, what we do, our vocation, where we travel. Side note, we pick up light codes when we travel. So the reason why you're drawn to certain places could be because you have past life links. If you want to look into that, we can do a past life reading. But you're naturally drawn to certain places also because your astrocartography, which I could do a reading on, which is where you're meant to succeed in different areas of your life based on your astrology, okay? But the point of this right now is some of you are at that point of being on the grill too long. You're not going to be able, you're not going to be edible anymore, which is fine, right? But the point they're trying to make is it's time to come off. It's time to stop repeating and putting yourself in the same scenario to learn lessons that you've already learned. So you guys kind of are, some of you are creating your own misery by repeating stuff. And the repetition is like that real I post is saying, I think I'll talk about this today, which was a lot of reasons we end up in toxic dynamics is because we want an individual that has toxic patterns to love us the way we wanted to be loved when we were younger for various reasons. We all have gone through that in some capacity. Some of us enter it multiple times. Some of us learn their lesson once. For me, it's a huge part of my purpose and now what I'm going to teach, right? How I'm going to help my clients. For you, it could have been like, yeah, one and done. I had the one boyfriend in high school and now I'm not going to do this again, right? So you don't, like, healing is not linear. Oh my God, Sonia, if you're watching this. Healing is not linear, but we wish it was, basically, meaning once I learned the lesson, I will never go into that again. We don't really know that, only they. So I don't, I don't want to make this too long. I'm going to cut to the other part of this message, which are those planets I want to talk about. Chiron is the wounded leader. <clears throat> Chiron is an Aries, will be an Aries, has been an Aries. Together, Chiron is in the energy... Uh, in the zodiac of the emperor okay emperor is like the divine masculine is like that really honorable male dominant provider protector energy whereas chiron is the narcissist is the machismo is the exact opposite contrast of an emperor okay so naturally, you're going to be feeling some polarities in those areas of your life if there is some healing to do there. That could be with toxic family members. That could be in relationships. That could be with work and authority figures. That could be with your own internal hyper-independence. So what you are empowered to do is to work through any wounding, healing stuff that comes up in that area. Clean it up for good. Get rid of it. You're burning yourself at this point, staying on the grill, and you become inedible. As in, like, you can't even take your own shit, right? Been there, done that, right? We're done with that timeline. The Capricorn energy, energy of the devil and the tarot, is bringing up the, ooh, I can't heal from this. What if I can't heal from this? What if I lose this? What if I can't do this? What if, I, like, there is so much kind of doubt that can linger in that space and so as i said you're going to be very much empowered to do the thing you need to do which is going to be being a friend to yourself this full moon in aquarius we just had that passed was clearing out whatever was not allowing you to be kind to yourself so if you're being challenged in that area essentially 
it is time. It is time to take the step. It is time to make the move. Your guides are like, no, 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 no. We will show you clearly. If it's meant in your divine path now to reap positive rewards in karma, if the Saturn retrograde is not meant to teach you shit about yourself, you're going to know. Let's go to a random page of my book and read a paragraph. All right, my hair is everywhere. <laughs> Does one thing impact everything? Perfect. I got to the start of chapter 6 on page 72. You may have noticed that the rest falls like dominoes when one thing happens. There's a chain reaction from something bad to the next thing turning sour too. This is energy transference. If you believe you can keep one aspect in your life solid while the rest matter less or dwindle, you'll have to think again. Perhaps you don't even realize how it impacts you. Energy is a time. Thank you, Reminder Hair author, for that inspiring paragraph. I don't even remember like <laughs> writing my book, even though I wrote it. It was a huge channeling process. Some channelings have brought some typos, and I might need to edit my book again. So I apologize, but I don't because I'm very proud of myself. And yeah, if you want this, it's in my bio. It's only 125 pages. And it also has a little bibliography at the front to let you know um, a little bit about me and how I got to where I am. And if you want a physical copy directly from me, mailed from me to you with a message in it, channeled message, you can also do that via my bio. You just buy the one off my page and not the one off Amazon. And I'm still figuring, not figuring it out. I know how to get it into local bookstores and in chapters and stuff. But really, have I had the time? No. Blah. Is the quantum shift right now. So that is the message for this evening. Embrace the challenges and the flows and go with it.